Welcome to episode 18 of the Ask Bunka Show. In this episode, we're going to talk about how to troubleshoot the your site is not secure warning that Chrome gives you. We got both questions, one through YouTube and one through our website, pressavenue.com slash ask a question. Um, thanks again for Peter and Anindra who sent in these questions and we'll answer them and troubleshoot them up next. Thanks. All right, so the first question from Indrani, and I apologize if I'm cropping up your name. Uh, you sent this URL in and you're saying it's not secure and you're right. When I click this over here, it just shows this. I, um, soon it will show as not secure and it'll show slightly different, um, but you're really close. So when checking this in why no padlock, it gives you this, two check boxes, but a note. Um, this note has come up a few times for me going through about 50 websites. It does show up. What it basically says is it didn't check any of your images. Um, so the images are most likely at fault. Uh, so upon going here, if you're in Chrome and you right click, go to view page source, and you'll see all this code once it loads. And whether you code or not, um, it is fairly easy to dig up the problem. So on the Mac, if you do Command F or on Windows, you do Control F, um, it pops up this little screen here. Just search for HTTP dot dot instead of HTTPS because the S isn't the problem. And when we search for this, you'll see in the code here, um, even if you don't read the code, you can see if you just look here, the container, which is the logo container, um, so class logo has your main link. So most likely it's this one right here. Um, the source is HTTP, not HTTPS. And this is the problem. Uh, so if I click here, yep. So it is that front one, this image, wherever you insert it. So if it's in a widget, it's in the customizer, wherever you put this image in, just add the S save it, clear the cache, maybe clear your history, and you should show as secure, or at least you'll be really close to getting this secure. If you look up here when we search, this is one of one, so this is the only problem on this particular page. So correct this and you'll be done. So that's question number one. The second question we got through our ask a question box um, from Peter, he asks, love the last video, but I can't solve my WordPress problem. How do I fix this? Um, so when I go to a site and I enter it into here, so why no padlock? This is his site. I will paste it into this box and just wait. Uh, again, if you haven't seen the previous video, why no padlock.com basically tells you which elements within the site are insecure. Um, and this kind of walks you through it. So we look through here, it has the certificate. It passed on cPanel, that's fine. Total number of items, 25. Only one of them is insecure. And which one is it? It's this banner right here. So if I copy the link, right click, go to this banner right here. So if I go to your website, over in your widget area on the right hand side, uh, this image is insecure. So if you go to your widget panel in WordPress itself, most likely this is inserted just through an IMG tag. Within the source, you will see, so if I go to view source, that you're calling the image with HTTP instead of HTTPS. So the feed is insecure, that's interesting. So here it is right here, here's the problem in image. In a widget container somewhere, you have inputted this link, which is secure, but this source for the image is not. So it's pulling it from Amazon, um, this right here just needs to be entered in. Again, save it and you'll be done. And that's it. If you have any questions for me, please feel free to ask them in the comments below and we'll make a video like this just for you. Again, thank you to all subs our subscribers. We've hit the 120 mark and we're just about at 20,000 views. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And additionally, if you wanna see more great videos like this, please hit the red subscribe button. Thanks so much for watching.